Hey everyone! The only 5 exercises every man need to build muscle mass. Engaging in regular physical activities that include strength, endurance, and flexibility is best for overall health. However, many people don't exercise just for the health benefits, but also do it to look good. For most men this often means adding muscle mass. In today's video, we will talk about the only 5 exercises every man need to build muscle mass, meaning I'll show you 2 lower body and 2 upper body exercises, plus a total body one, which will promote hypertrophy, allow for progressive overload and build aesthetically pleasing physique. So, keep on watching, like this video and subscribe to this channel if you're new. Let's start with what is hypertrophy and progressive overload. Hypertrophy refers to the increase in the size of muscle fibers, resulting in development of muscles and growth, while progressive overload is the gradual increase of stress placed on the body during exercise training, which can be achieved by increasing the weight, repetitions, sets, or intensity of the exercise. Together, they create a sustainable path to increased muscle mass and strength. And so back to our topic, these are the only five exercises every man need to build muscle. Number one, squats. Squats are a compound movement that targets the entire lower body, including the quadriceps, hamstrings, glutes, calves, adductors, and core muscles, including your lower back. There are various ways to perform squats. You can do bodyweight squat, goblet squat, barbell back squat, or barbell front squat. But regardless these types, it's important to use proper form. To perform squats correctly, place your feet shoulder width apart with toes slightly outward. Keep your head up, shoulders back, and chest up, maintaining a neutral spine. If you're using weights, hold dumbbell vertically close to your chest or let them hang by your sides. For barbell squats, use a squat rack to ensure you train safely. Position the barbell on your upper traps for back squats or across your rear deltoids for front squats, gripping slightly wider than shoulder width. Lift the bar out of the rack and take a step or two back, and always your feet should be around shoulder width apart. Start by pushing your hips back as if sitting into a chair, bending your knees in line with your toes without letting them cave inward. Lower your body until your thighs are at least parallel to the floor. Ideally, go as deep as your mobility allows without compromising form. Push through your heels to return to the starting position, extending hips and knees simultaneously while keeping your core tight throughout the movement to protect your spine and maintain balance. Avoid rounding your back throughout the movement. Inhale as you lower down and exhale forcefully as you rise back up. Number 2. Deadlifts Deadlifts are another compound exercise that works multiple muscle groups, particularly the posterior chain. They primarily target the hamstrings, glutes, and lower back. But deadlifts also target quadriceps, upper back like trapezius and rhomboids, not forgetting that it also strengthens your forearms. There are various different types of deadlifts, but we will focus on the conventional deadlift. Here's how to do it. Stand with your feet hip width apart. The barbell should be over the middle of your feet, close to your shins. Use an overhand grip or mixed grip with your hands just outside your knees. Hinge at your hips, pushing them back while maintaining a slight bend in your knees. Make sure your back is straight in a neutral spine position. Pull your shoulders back, chest up, keep your neck neutral and brace your core to protect your spine. Using the power of your legs, pull the bar from the floor, keep the bar close to your body, dragging it up along your shins and thighs extending your hips and knees simultaneously. Lowering the barbell should be done in a controlled manner too. Send your hips back first, then bend your knees as the bar passes them. Keep your back flat and the bar close to your body until it touches the floor. Never round your back throughout the movement, as this can lead to injury and ensure your hips do not rise faster than your shoulders. Number 3. Bench Press The bench press is a really great effective exercise for the upper body area, working mainly on your pectoralis major, shoulders, and triceps. But also, it does work on secondary muscles like serratus anterior, a muscle which assists in the stabilization of your shoulder blades and corcobrachialis, a muscle of the upper arm that aids in your shoulder's flexion. To perform a bench press, lie on your back with your feet planted firmly on the ground, slightly wider than hip width apart. Position your eyes directly under the bar. Maintain a slight arch in your lower back while keeping your buttocks on the bench. Grip the bar with your hands slightly wider than shoulder width apart, using a full grip with thumbs wrapped around the bar. Retract your shoulder blades and keep them tight against the bench. Lift the bar off the rack by straightening your arms and moving it over your shoulders. Lower the bar in a controlled manner to your mid-chest, keeping your elbows at a 45-degree angle. Inhale as you lower the bar and pause briefly on your chest, maintaining muscle tension. To press the bar back up again, engage your chest, shoulders, and triceps, keeping your elbows close to your body. 
Push the bar up to the starting position until your arms are fully extended but not locked to avoid shoulder strain, and exhale as you press the bar up. Avoid to bounce the bar off your chest and overextending your lower back, which will improve effectiveness and reduce risk of injury. Number 4. Pull-ups Pull-up stand is one of the most excellent exercises developing your upper back, arms, and shoulders, but they work more of your body than you realize depending on your hand positioning. If your palms are facing towards you, then you're performing chin-ups, not pull-ups, and that's entirely different movement. When you perform a pull-up, you engage the following key back muscles, latissimus dorsi, trapezius, and the rhomboids. But pull-ups also target the arm and shoulder including your biceps, forearms, and deltoids. To perform pull-ups, you can use a step or bench or just make a little jump up to reach the bar. Grab the pull-up bar with your hands approximately shoulder width apart and your palms should be facing away from you. Hanging from the bar, your arms should be fully extended. For your legs you have two options, either they can be crossed at the ankles or kept straight. Keep your core tight with shoulders pulled back as if you're trying to put them in your back pockets. By pulling up, initiate the movement by engaging your back muscles and pulling your chest towards the bar. Focus on driving your elbows down and back and continue to pull until your chin is above the bar. Carefully lower yourself back down in a controlled manner, fully extending your arms at the bottom, keeping your core engaged throughout the whole movement to maintain stability and prevent swinging, then repeat. Even if you can't perform a full pull-up initially, practicing assisted variations can gradually build strength and later on make you complete full movement. Number 5. Overhead Press the overhead press, also known as shoulder press, is a great exercise that will help you build upper body strength. Overhead press primary targets the following key muscles, deltoids, triceps, upper pectorals, trapezius, and serratus anterior. However, core muscles and glutes are engaged also to stabilize the lower body and maintain balance during a lift. As other exercises, the overhead press can also be performed with various equipment, but using a barbell is often preferred. When using a squat rack, Adjust it so the barbell is at chest height when you stand in front of it. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart and grip the bar slightly wider than shoulder width palms facing forward. Ensure your wrists are straight and elbows point slightly forward and down. To unrack the bar, stand close, bend your knees slightly, and get under the bar, placing it on your upper chest or front deltoids. Stand up straight to lift the bar off the rack. Take a step back to clear the rack and plant your feet firmly. Engage your core and glutes to stabilize your spine and prevent excessive arching. Keep your head neutral, looking straight ahead. While pushing the barbell upwards, you should move your head slightly back to allow the bar to pass and keep your elbows under the bar. Fully extend your arms overhead, then bring your head back to neutral position as the bar passes your forehead. Pause briefly at the top, then lower the bar back to your upper chest in a controlled manner. After completing your reps, step forward to re-rack the bar securely. So, these five exercises will work your entire body, allowing for progressive overload, as it plays bigger role in building muscle mass. And as always, listen to your body while experimenting these exercises. Share your thoughts by commenting below which of these exercises is your favorite, and what did I miss from this presentation?